A tree is a tall plant with a woody trunk and branches. It has a long lifespan. The roots, trunk, branches, and leaves are the four main parts of a tree. A tree is a perennial plant that has an elongated stem or trunk that usually supports branches and leaves. In some cases, the term tree may be narrower, encompassing only woody plants with secondary growth, plants suitable for lumber production, or plants taller than a certain height. The bud is the starting point for tree growth and branch lengthening. The apical meristem is in charge of tree height growth because its cells divide and elongate at the bud's foundation to create upward growth with a dominant crown tip. Multiple crowns may form if the top of a tree is damaged. Height growth stops at the crown tip because some conifers cannot produce these growth cells. The underlying patterns of wide or narrow rings record the year-to-year -year fluctuations in tree growth. As a result, the patterns frequently include the weather history at the location where the tree grew, in addition to the tree's age. Tree rings in temperate climates can reveal their age through annual rings, and they can also aid in estimating the age of wood used to construct buildings or wooden objects. The process of matching ring patterns in wood samples with known and unknown ages is known as cross-dating. A tree structure also consists of three parts, the trunk, the crown, and the roots. The trunk supports the crown and transports water and nutrients from the roots to the leaves of your branches and from the leaves back to the roots. The roots, on the other hand, serve to anchor the plant in the soil as well as absorb moisture and mineral substances and transport them to the trunk. Furthermore, they are classified into three major organs, roots, stems, and leaves. The primary photosynthetic organs of most higher vascular plants are their leaves. A continuous vascular system connects them to the rest of the plant, allowing for the free exchange of nutrients, water, and photosynthesis end products, particularly oxygen and carbohydrates. All tree species are divided into two groups, deciduous and evergreen. Deciduous trees, the term deciduous refers to falling off at maturity or tendency to fall off in horticulture and botany. Deciduous trees shed their leaves at the end of the growing season. The leaves of tropical and subtropical deciduous trees fall as a water-saving mechanism during the dry season. These latitudes do not have the same reduction in daylight hours as temperate deciduous trees. In North America, Europe, and temperate countries, deciduous trees such as oak, walnut, elm, and maple shed their leaves in the fall. This is usually followed by the leaves changing to lovely colors like orange, brown, and yellow. During the dry season, deciduous trees in tropical countries shed their leaves. Evergreen trees, unlike deciduous trees, do not shed their leaves in the winter. They instead remain green for more than one growing season. Evergreen trees are divided into 14 families. They contribute to the year-round availability of color and landscapes in gardens and forests. They are also responsible for the stunning appearance of forests during the winter months. Some are also frequently used as Christmas trees. Cedars, pines, firs, juniper, holly, thuja, cryptomeria, olives, hemlocks, eucalyptus, bamboo, and spruce trees are among them. Evergreens with needle-like leaves or scales are also common. Trees benefit everyone, not just the environment. 
Climate change is exacerbated by excess carbon dioxide, CO2, in our atmosphere as a result of human activities and pollution. They help by absorbing and storing CO2 while releasing oxygen, which humans require for survival, back into the atmosphere. Water evaporation from parched lawns is reduced by tree shade. Most newly planted ones need only 15 gallons of water per week. Trees add moisture to the atmosphere as they transpire. They also help to reduce water pollution by breaking down rainfall and allowing it to flow down the trunk and into the earth beneath the tree. This prevents pollutants from entering the ocean via storm water runoff. When trees are mulched, they act like sponges, naturally filtering water and replenishing groundwater supplies. They help to preserve a location's unique character and promote community pride. Woodlands can be used to educate people as well as to bring people together for activities like walking and bird watching. They are also excellent places for children to play and develop their sense of adventure. This teaches them to value nature so that as they grow, they will learn to respect nature, particularly trees and the creatures that live in them. They also provide shelter not only for humans but also for a variety of animals. They provide food and habitat to a wide range of wildlife from the lowest levels to the highest canopies. Many farmers use them to build hives in order to attract bees to their property for pollination and honey production. Trees are not only necessary for life, but they also serve as a link between the past, present, and future as the longest living species on the planet. It is critical that woodlands, rainforests, and trees in urban settings such as parks be preserved and managed in a sustainable manner all over the world. There are many ways to save trees, one of which is to use less paper. While continuous tree planting is required for paper production, the amount of energy and resources required to produce paper is not environmentally friendly. Find ways to reduce your reliance on paper whenever possible. Look for alternatives to common paper products like cardboard, printer paper, and paper cups. When purchasing paper, it is critical to inspect and read the packaging to determine whether it is made of recycled materials. Purchasing from environmentally conscious businesses can also help. It's great if you recycle on your own, but if you don't support the manufacturers who use your recycled paper, they'll struggle to justify the additional cost. Reducing meat consumption also helps to protect trees by preventing the destruction of vast swaths of forests and woodlands to make room for all the animals. The use of social media platforms to disseminate information about tree conservation could be beneficial.